because I know that it was really, really down here that I got it and, 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 and from way up here. No excuses, no justifications, no reasons. I have no idea. The only thing I ever did was I asked and I asked believing and I did receive and so shall you. And God's made that promise to you. Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that right? That's a promise, isn't it? Yeah, and it's for everybody, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I want to touch on uh, something you said earlier, and it goes back to what you just mentioned about your asking and your receiving. You said when it when you first experienced it, it came as a zap, and all of a sudden you realized that there were some things that you knew that wasn't of your knowing, but they were things that were given to you. And I want to touch on this because I know that you're private and that's fine, but people don't understand what the promise is. Many people keep thinking about all these experiences that Neville had, which are beautiful, but everybody doesn't receive the promise the exact same way. But the biggest thing about understanding the promise is understanding our oneness with the allness known as God. That's the promise. Now, whatever experiences you have beyond that, you know, uh, whether you experience the birth of the child and all these other things, that may be for you as an individual, but everybody's not going to receive that awareness in the exact same way. And I, like I said, I just wanted to touch quickly on that zap and let people know that everybody's experiences of knowing the father isn't going to be the exact same experience, but embrace your experience. And you say, listen, I ask. And so whoever, it says that whosoever acts receives, whoever knocks, the door shall be open. Whoever seeks, they shall find. So Mr. Lindell's giving you the key to the promise. Ask believingly. That's right. And people say, well, I just can't believe it. Well, but you believe a lot of things and you believe a lot of things that are actually false. Yeah. So, so, Come on, what do you mean you can't believe? You can believe something false and carry it on through your life. <laughs> so why can't, why can't you believe lovely and of good report? That's what you're told to speak upon. Speak upon lovely and of good report. And as you think, you are. It, it, you haven't found that true? See, then, then, then you're not experimenting. See, you, you're told show up you sh you're to show up and claim what is yours right here, right now. It already is. It's already a given. And you're told that worshiping God is using his gifts. So why are you, why are you whining and crying to God for things when, when he, he's already told you, well, choose them. Isn't that what he said? Choose it? Absolutely. Did, did, he, did he put any parameters on that? No. See, it says what's it says the potential is whatsoever, and and you can look it up any way you want, and it it says whatsoever. And I did look it up everywhere to find out it whatsoever. I mean, I was trying to cover all the bases, <laughs> <laughs> but after a while, I realized there were too many bases to cover, so <laughs> I just came back to as you think you are and just narrowed it down to all the things that I enjoy. <laughs> and I enjoy this. So I do this too. Yeah. It, this is fun, isn't it? It is. It is. Yes. <laughs> it is. And, and well, no, listen, that's the reason why I sit right there in that chair over there every evening. And I got uh, just a, uh, it's just a piano that plays it. Very, very light. And I listen to that. And I just let my mind drift. Now I'm not judging anything. I'm just I'm just letting my mind drift and seeing seeing what, what's coming through. That, that's all you want to do. And I, I'll tell you what: once you start seeing it, it, it well, you, you'll you'll get hooked on it. <laughs> you want to, you want to make sure you're not thinking anything like that, that like a negative scenario, because all you're doing is producing it in your world of experiencing. And, and and nothing falls in, into the past. Everything you say, think, feel is not falling into the past. It's being projected into our futures. You see, so 
So w- when you feel in a rotten mood, well, it's not stopped because you stopped here. It went. So you're going to find that rotten mood in the future because there's going to be something that's going to set it up for you. And you're setting, you know, if you catch yourself in your own conversation, setting yourself up, you'll have found the secret of how to cause desired change. Isn't that right? You said, listen, if you catch yourself thinking, then in catching yourself, you discovered the secret of desired change. And I'm concerned that many people are going to hear what you said and it's going to go and they're going to miss it. But it goes back to what you always say. Can you think your next thought? And of course, most people would answer, of course. And you say, don't stop. Yes, that's that. See, that's what that open it and quicken it is. See, you hear it by the hearing of the ear and you think, oh, that's really a great idea. I, I, that, and you open it and quicken it. But you see, that, that, that's, that's what we miss to do. Because, because you, you're given it because you just got excited about, about hearing it. So, so that's getting it, isn't it? It is. So, oh, so you just start right there. You, look, you're on all the time. And they're told, you're told that right now is the appointed hour for desired change. In other words, it's the appointed hour of you saying, I am that, experiencing it in mind, in imagination, in the theater of your mind, you see yourself performing everything you would be performing if your world was as you want it to be right now. And if you can do that consistently, persistently, after a while, it becomes naturally feeling that you're doing it. It becomes more and more real each time you bring it up and feel it. Feeling is the secret. That I mean, I still remember Neville's book, Feeling is the Secret. That was a, I mean, you could just take eight lines out of that book. And if you follow that, you'd be home free. Isn't that true? That is absolutely true. Feeling is the secret. If we're monitoring what it is that we're feeling and thinking on a given basis, it goes back to what you were saying. If you can thank your next thought with feeling, that's the desire. And many people like to believe that desire is like this little hope or whatever. No, desire is passion. It's that thing that you've given your attention to. So desire is going to be your destiny. Yes, passion. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for something that a passion will drive you. Yeah. It'll kick it in high gear. <laughs> but that's what you got to do. You, you got to prep talk yourself all the time. Hey, come on. You really do. You have to talk yourself into or out of something all the time. And you're doing so. Absolutely. Have you ever caught yourself doing so? Absolutely. No, you know, actually, just yeah. catch yourself talking to yourself, and you're setting yourself up for something you don't desire. And why? Well, because you're paying attention to it. And what has your attention has your life. If you just keep it that simple, you don't. If you, tell them. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, and so it goes back. He's talking about passion. And the truth of the matter is, we're all passionate about something. Often we're passionate about the wrong thing, the things that we don't want. But when we're moaning and crying and begging and pleading, that's passion. And so at that point, you're telling God, universe, oh, give me more of that, because that's what you're vibrating. That's right. That's right. You see, you're always thinking ahead of the evidence that you're experiencing. If you would trace it back from what you're experiencing to when you thought certain thoughts that made you think that was inevitable, because if you're experiencing it, it was inevitable. And that it, you're doing that all your life. You've been doing that since you, since you, since you learned to talk, I guess. Yeah. It's... But it's what are you allowing yourself to entertain as thought because you're going to experience it. 
you're actually reading your lines for the part you're going to play. And you're doing it ahead of your thinking about what you're going to do at the other end. But the, that's where you want to think about, is it the other end? See, he said, he said, when, when you pray, believe you have already received that for what you're asking. Well, right then, that's, that's when you start. It's you got it. If you don't walk away with it, with it, then you didn't do nothing because you got what you expected. And you know, no one's been able to deny that when I say that. Yes. You see, because they ain't got what they were asked, but they did get what they expected. And that's what you always get. You get what you expect. That's what everybody gets. Everybody gets what they expect. What what what, what is it that you expect? Oh, no, never mind, don't tell me. <laughs> they, well, they can tell you some really gruesome stories. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> tell them, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Do you want more of it? Oh, no. Well, stop talking about it. Isn't that right? You're absolutely right. You made me think about Neville when he talks about the woman who slept with a knife under her pillow because she was worried about the potential rapist. And sure enough, that was manifested in her world. And we think about calamity. We think about tragedy. We think about all these things. And what we don't realize, that's the prayer. Yeah, you see, you're setting yourself up or you're setting yourself free every moment. Yeah. Isn't that true? Absolutely. I mean, you're setting yourself up or you're setting yourself free. Any arguments about that? Because that's really what's happening. I, I mean, you, you don't want to have to take my word for it. You can just look at it. Look, what do you think about generally? Because what you generally think about, that's what you're doing, being, and having. And all we're saying is, is that if you don't like what you're doing, being, and having, all you have to do is go back to the thinking ahead of the evidence you'll be experienced of what you say then. And then, and then if you change that conversation, then this that, that never would have happened. But what will happen is what you change to thinking of that's what you'll be experiencing. Was that that complicated? <laughs> it wasn't complicated, but they may have to listen to it once or twice because even in the simplicity, like I said, the concern is even in simplicity, we hear it and it goes in one ear and flies out the other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, look, d don't think I got this overnight. I've been doing this for 40 years and I'm still. Seeking. What am I seeking? Just not to think about. That's all. You see, it's it's kind of like a, a a tail. You know, it follows you. It 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 gives you those little deja views that you don't want to see. But you're doing so. You're, whatever you're doing, you are doing to yourself. It's not what someone else knows about you. It's what you know about you. That is your burden that you're carrying. But you're told, blessed is the man or woman that does not condemn themselves for that which they have allowed. In other words, at that very moment, you're forgiven. Isn't it? It is. It is. And I want to touch on this briefly. You said, blessed is the man, the woman who does not condemn themselves for the things that they've allowed. We allow many things. Now, the thing is, just because you've allowed it, say that you're experiencing it, let it go. Forgive yourself and move on. Don't feel like you have to be, that you have to remain there. Because see, a lot of times we believe that we're stuck. And the only thing that we're stuck in is belief. You know, here's the question. What is your target? Yeah. You might have a target that everybody else would call sinful. 
That's true. But if you hit it, you see, then you haven't sinned. Absolutely. I'll got to hear about that. <laughs> well, from the so-called religious people, because they don't understand that, of course, sin is missing the mark. And so if a person is a bank robber, you talked about a criminal earlier. If a person is a bank robber and his target is to successfully rob a bank, then he's hit his target if he didn't get caught. You know something? His target. That, that's the question. What is your target? I mean, I mean, do you really have a target? See, because what we figured, say, say you're going to take up archery, well, you'd have to get a bow and arrow, but you had to shoot it. But see, what, what, are you, what are you doing to follow through on what you're saying that you want? Are you actually, are you actually doing something every day that's leading you in the direction you want to go and you're doing it all in thought, in imagination, in the theater of mind. And when I say theater of mind, look, if you see yourself going to the grocery store and picking something out, that, that's, that's the theater of mind. You're using, you're using the theater of mind every, every day. But, but what, what, what's the show you're putting on? Now, I mean, that's what it is, isn't it? It is. It's a play. <laughs> like 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 it says, she's for said all the world's a stage, all the men and women are merely actors. Well what, what, what part did you you know, and the thing of it is that's what you're told. You can change your part. Yes. You, you, in other words, you, you get a new you get an, a, a new state of consciousness. And 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 where do you get it? You create it. That's what you're doing. It, Every time you say something different than you've said before, you're starting a new a new state of consciousness. Absolutely, and, and that, that's what you want to do, isn't it? You're looking for a new state of consciousness because consciousness is always being object, objectified. So therefore, you, you're making you're making a whole new case for yourself, and that's what you're doing. They themselves are makers of themselves. I, I, th that that's that's really the story summed up in just a few words. They, they're doing it all themselves. It's what they're thinking is what they're experiencing. As a man thinking in his heart, so is he. And you say, oh, you say it over and over and over. That's right. That because the thing of it is, I know how important it is to say it over and over, to get it said over and over, to hear it over and over, because that's the only way. Well, that's how you got hypnotized, mesmerized to what you're experiencing right now. It is that you heard it over and over? It's just like watching the commercials on TV. What do you think they're doing? They're 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 hypnotizing you. They really are. As a matter of fact, most of that stuff is probably written by psychiatrists. Yeah, <laughs> because they know how to push your buttons. Yeah, and, and uh, I need I need I need a vest. <laughs> They nail you. They nail you, boy. I'll tell you, they do. All right. You know, you have to look at this from a different point of view. I mean, that's what change your mind and change your world is. You're, you're looking at your whole world from a, 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 little, a little different advantage point. And I say advantage point because you, you have the right idea of feeling after the better than the best you've known so far. You see, that's not, that's not making you better than anybody. It's just telling you you're looking far better. Well, you see, he, here's the secret to that. What you're looking for is looking for you. No, no, that, that's, that is the case. What you're looking for is looking for you. It's you who quits. It's, it's you who stops. It's you who turns away. Do it later. Later shows, are we ready now? No, later. We're, we're so of the world. We, 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 we're, we're, what, what is it? It's, it's become habitual. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we make up things 
And then we crave the things that we make up. It, it it's a virtual reality. It's, it comes all all of it's coming out of the man, mind of man, woman, people, children, everybody gets a little a say so. Absolutely. And and and, and the, the point is that we're making here is that nobody has a greater say than you do. If you're the one watching what you're saying and being responsible for what you're saying. I mean, you are, even though you don't, don't take responsibility for it, but you're, you're responsible for every word. As a matter of fact, that's what we're told. Every word is to be accounted for. Oh, wow. Well, you should see what the, you should see the, the faces of people when you say that. They're going, oh, what have I thought? What have I said? You know, oh, well, that, that, that's, see, that, that's the whole thing. You don't have to commit an act. All you have to do is just think about it. That's it. Guilty. That's it. That's the reason why you're told n n not to guilt yourself out. Because what you, when you do that, you ruin your life. For, for an incident that's all over with. You, you run little scenarios of it every day to keep it alive. And, and, that's, and that's all it does. It, that's, that's all it's doing. It's just keeping that scenario alive because you ran it over and over and over. And if you didn't like it the first time, <laughs> why are you running it over and over? You know, I ask people that all the time and they look like they're like, well, I can't just stop it. Huh? Uh, you, you can't stop what you're thinking. You can if you all you have you don't really have to stop anything. All you have to do is start thinking of something else. That's all. Just move over here and talk to that. Don't don't talk to that person for a minute. Then what happens? You forgot anything you were arguing about, probably. Look, if you're gonna argue with somebody, argue with yourself. You know, you what what happens is is and, and let me tell you something. That, that voice. Is it's your own voice? That's the reason why you weren't paying any attention to it. It's, it's, you're expecting it. Oh, I learned out from heaven or something. What? 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 You're talking. It's it's you telling you what the hell are you doing? Why? Why are you thinking something like that? You don't want to experience it, do you? And as you think, you are. So what? You you already signed on for it. So you're going to experience it, but and and you won't stop it because you don't remember you even said it. Hmm. What is he saying? As you think you are, it's that simple, isn't it? It is. I like that you said. You said, "Listen, you're having a conversation." First of all, you said, "Listen, if you're going to argue, argue with yourself." But then you said, "Listen, when you're having the conversation, it's your own voice," and that was what Moses discovered at the burning bush. He discovered, I am. And Moses was having a conversation with himself and his higher self. So most of you keep looking for God out there. But God is in agreement with you in there, in you. So whatever it is that you say about your world, God is in agreement. And he says, yes. That's all he says. People don't understand. That's all he said. When, when, when he told you to choose this day, he said yes. And, and what you're doing with it, well, that, that's, that's up to you. And people say, well, I don't want that responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are just afraid of living. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know why... He says, I'm with you always. If God's with you always, what, what are you worried about? All you're saying is that he isn't if you're worried about something. But he is. So it's you denying yourself. All, all denial is self-denial. God's not denying you anything. He said yes right off the bat, and he ain't said nothing since. 
other than yes. And he tells you that the only reason you don't receive is because you don't ask. You, well, let me put it this way. It took me years to get around to asking. You understand? But even though it took me years, and, and the first thing you understand in retrospect is that it didn't need to take that long, dummy. That, that's it. It didn't need to take that long. Months, maybe. That's it. I mean, you have to start the awakening somewhere. And right now is the appointed hour. Because you, you're turning to do so. Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be so. I am awakening. I mean, there it is. You, you have, you have, he gave you the power, the power. He gave it to you. And he's going along with you as you. And he's suffering whatever you're suffering. So just think of this. When you are suffering something, you're making God suffer the same thing. And, oh, I understand it's his choice. I understand that. I mean, he's, He's well aware. It's his choice. <laughs> He's just trying to make you aware that your choice is valid. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. you, 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 you your, your voice is valid. Watch what you say. Isn't that it? Watch Absolutely. your mouth. Absolutely. Uh, not, not only what you say out loud, though. Yeah. Even, even what you're thinking. You see, someone says, well, I didn't do anything. Yeah, but you thought so. Mind makes a record of everything, absolutely everything. That 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 in itself is scary enough. <laughs> but hey, there's nothing stopping you from adapting a new attitude, is there? There's nothing. As we're winding down, you said um, noun is the hour of desired change. And you will often say, you know, and that's what everybody wants. Everybody wants desired change. You've given them the tools in this talk for desired change. Now, some of you will listen to this one time and you'll write it off as a good message and you'll miss it. But some of you will listen to it repeatedly and you will discover the tools for your desired change and you'll begin to experience the desired change. What would you say to the listeners in closing? Hey, when your own voice if you recognize your own voice talking to you, that's the start. Now all you have to do is guide it. Choose it. Choose what it's going to... Yeah, that's what you're here to do. You're here to design your own thinking, feelingly, the way you desire life to be. There are those who are doing it. And of course, you have to make up all sorts of things to say against them because otherwise you'd have to admit that they're doing the thing they're supposed to be doing and you're supposed to be doing too. And, and so you have to discredit them. It's, well, yeah, they probably stole the money or something. You know, like, come on. So what if they did? They were successful at it. Or are you successful at what you're doing? <laughs> you see, every... every <laughs> Everything has a starting point, and it, it all starts right here. Your next thought starts your life all over again, doesn't it? Absolutely. I mean, it's a fresh start if you have a new thought. Take one. See where it leads you. Been a pleasure, sir. Oh, it always is. <laughs> I, 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 I That's been an hour. Has been an hour. Unreal. Yeah. Time to fly. Yeah. Away. When you're having a good time, anyway. Absolutely. But that's the point. Is that you're not to be bored. I, I can't understand people who are always being bored. I've never been bored. Anytime that I can sit quietly, I look around. I go sit down and I. I love to think the things that we're talking about right here, just in my own mind. 
because because I see the future. I'm setting up the future right there. So setting right there, I'm setting up my future. And I know what to expect because that's what I'm doing. And you will too if you show up and take charge, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Take care, sir. Hasta luego. <laughs> Talk to you later. Talk to you later. People just want to know what you did to be successful. The four CDs that I have out there, it's all there. If you took any one of the CDs and actually followed through on what you understood there, you could change your mind, change your world. All you have to do is just listen to the CDs. It's always reiteration and reiteration. I want to go back to the uh, board CD set. Go to metaphysicalarttheater.com. We can only mail in the U.S. right now, but for those who are outside the U.S., we can send you a digital bundle with everything so you'll get the enjoyment without waiting for it in the mail. Matter of fact, those who are in the U.S., if you would rather have the digital copies, we can do that as well. metaphysicalarttheater.com.